Hi YouTube. Today I figured we would make a video about how to organize your projects. Uh, this is going to be both like on your hard drive and um, also inside of Photoshop. So I'm going to show you guys my tips and tricks. I'm really OCD with my projects, which I count as a blessing. So I have um, certain things and folders and color graded and that means certain things to me so I can look at this and know what it is, what I'm looking at. Um, and then I also organize my projects on my hard drive like this in a specific way that makes it easy for not only me to find the right file as fast as possible when I need it, but also it helps my clients uh, to find the right file at the right time. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first we'll start out with hard drive stuff. So I take photos, photos come from your camera, they go to a big photo folder on your computer. This is on a hard drive or a solid state drive. It doesn't need to be internal, uh, it doesn't really matter. For me, I have all my photos on my hard drive and in Dropbox. Uh, same, same thing for me. Uh, next, I have my photos broken up into different folders. So like I have a folder for portraits, a photo for product photos, and then I also do a lot of automotive photography. So for that, that's its own folder. And then within that, I have my different automotive photography clients working for my local Porsche, Land Rover, Jaguar, and Infiniti at one point. And I would have different folders for each of those uh, dealerships. So for example, inside of product photos, I might have Vans. Inside of my Vans folder, I'll have another folder you know, describing like the specific shoes that I'm shooting that day or something. And then within that, I'll have my Photoshop PSDs, which are my work files. Those will be in a separate folder. I'll have my final photos, which are called deliverables. So that's after Photoshop. I'll have my Lightroom um, photos. So like as soon as I import them to my computer, I throw them in Lightroom, do some quick edits. So those are sort of like a starting point you know, level one, level two sort of photos. They're not finished. They still have to go to Photoshop. And then I have another f uh, folder for my RAWs. So if my, all my original photos get stored in an original photo folder, which is gonna be called like raw files, or I often call it footage. So if we take a look at this project that I did, we have my deliverables, which are my final photos, right? I have, these are after Lightroom, after Photoshop. I have my raw photos, which if you go in here, you'll see all of my raw photos. I have my uh, Lightroom exports. So after my quick Lightroom edits, I edit out, I export out these photos. And this is what I would take into Photoshop to work on. And then of course I have my Photoshop work files, all my different versions. So I'll have, you know, version, the way I do it is I do my first and last initial. So for me, it's JB and then I'll have the software I'm working in. So Photoshop, so PS for Photoshop and then uh, the version number. So version two, version three, four, five, six, seven, you know, all the way up. That way, if I make a mistake, a drastic mistake or my, you know, file gets corrupted or something, I have all of these previous versions. Also, sorry if you guys can hear, people are doing like construction, I think on the floor above me right now. It's quite loud, so sorry about that. Okay, so if we close this, let's get into how I organize an actual Photoshop document. So over here, you'll see my layers panel. If you don't see this panel, go up to window and then go down to layers. Everyone might organize their stuff a little bit differently. Uh, this is a huge, huge project. There's so many layers going on. Like if I just expand these folders, you can see there is a ton of stuff going on here. These are all the different layers. So if I didn't have this really well organized, it would make a complex Photoshop file like this extremely hard to uh, work through and you know find what I needed when I needed it. So what I do is I have my background. Uh, if I turn off this folder, make it invisible, my background goes away. All of my background stuff goes in here. All of my levels and vibrance adjustments for my background also are in this background folder. So they're below everything else. They don't affect anything else, just background. 
Next up, we have some like work files. So this gets turned off. This isn't part of the project. And what I do is I color code things red for uh, layers that are not supposed to be turned on for the final image. So if I hit this eye icon to hide these layers, they go away and they're red. So I know that I'm supposed to turn this off before I save my photo. Not supposed to be in the final. These are just like work layers, right? Okay, then I have my uh, like dust smoke layers. So those are, let me change the background just so you guys can see this a little bit better. So those are these layers right here. Those are in their own folders. I have my atmosphere or smoke or whatever you want to call it or clouds. Then we go up. I have my, um, my main shoe here. Let's just collapse all this for a second. I have my main shoe so I can turn it on and off easily. Within my main shoe are my laces, which I could organize into another folder if I needed to. And then the shoe itself. Um, we had an earlier version here, which I'm gonna make red. So I remember not to put that in. We had a clone stamp here. Could make that orange. So in this project, I decided to make my products uh, orange. So my folders, that is. So my top shoe is also a folder that's orange. To make a folder, you hit this button down here in the layers panel. And to make it a certain color, you right click on it and then you choose a color. So I can make it green, I can do whatever I want. I'll make it orange. Above that, we have our hue saturation. We have some another folder for some atmosphere above the product. And then we have our color grading that goes above the whole image. So that folder is at the top. And I just made it yellow to keep it separate. It doesn't matter what colors you use for everything. I've noticed that if you do separate your folders um, by color grading them, it makes it much easier to find what you're looking for. Then I have some more stuff that didn't make it into the final photo. So that's labeled red for don't reveal, don't show. And then I have a work layer up here, which is some uh, just a crazy curves adjustment. Um, so I can see dust particles and stuff like that while I am clone stamping. And then that's red because it gets turned off before the final image is saved. So I think I'm going to cut this tutorial short because the construction upstairs is just so loud. Again, sorry if you guys can hear that. Uh, I hope this helped you. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas for how I can organize my projects or my hard drive even better. And uh, maybe I'll incorporate it into my next video or something and give you a shout out. Uh, but that's the basic idea is develop your own system inside of Photoshop for your organization, um, you know, be sure to name things. All you have to do to name something is double click on it and you can rename it whatever you want, right? Um, another thing you can do that will make your process a little easier is make lots of snapshots in your history panel. Whenever I'm at like a good stopping point and I don't want to lose progress, I'll hit this camera icon right up here in the history panel and that will make a snapshot. And it's the same as regular history, like you just click on it and you can go back in time to your snapshot or whatever, snapshot or whatever. But snapshots won't go away as long as you have the file open in Photoshop. Now if I close this and I open up Photoshop again and load it in, these snapshots will be gone. But as long as I have Photoshop running and I'm working on this, my snapshots will stay up here forever and I can always go back in time uh, if I made a mistake. So I hope that uh, some of these tips were helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know if you have a request for my next tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.